Hey folks, this is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. In today's video, we're gonna make a cute little farmhouse wall hanger. You could lean it against something. Could make a really cute gift. It's pretty simple. Three, uh, my, I love the animal stacks. <laughs> we got the three animal stacks, a bow and a cutting board. So I got this animal stack actually from a retailer. It was in my package as a thank you. I, and it's nice and thick. I have no idea where it's from or how to order more. Um, but I just thought it was cute. Unfortunately, it was on the top of the box. So when I did open it, I sliced it with a razor. So um, I could have flipped them over, but I thought decoupaging them would be a good idea. So we're using some Buffalo check here. And this paper is available on our website. It is 0244. And we're going to use uh, Pentart Ultra Matte Decoupage Glue. Um, it's a sealer. It's all those good things um, with this decoupage paper here. And it was easier for me to flip the animals over onto the back side because I couldn't really see through the paper um, where I was at. And I'm trying to, you know, be frugal with my paper and uh, use use the spaces that I can. So I'm just generously putting the De uh, Pentar Ultra Mat on there. And um, I love this stuff. If you're a true mat lover, I've been doing a lot of testing and Pentart Ultra Matte is definitely the most matte I've ever seen and or used. And it's a waterproof sealer. Um, after it dries if you use it on the top however I have not tested it outside yet so now you know some of these things that we decoupage can be a little tricky when we go to sand them off so I'm using a nail file this isn't a good example but I slow it down or we, we go through a little clip with the pig if you take your scissors and you cut in between each like area and just go all the way around like that, it makes it a lot easier for you to sand your decoupage paper off because you're doing it in little in, in little sections of where it goes up, down, its legs, its tails, or whatever. So you just have more control over it. Um, so that's just a little tip. Just snip all the way around on your high points or whatnot. And uh, anything small, you can use a nail file. So there we have it. How, that's cute just like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and seal this, and we're going to use the Pentart uh, Ultra Matte. And uh, I just put one layer on there. Now, I could have left them white, um, but in the end, I ended up changing my mind. So this cutting board was just in my stash. I love this color agave, and every once in a while, I'll bust it out. I think it looks really, really good with the, with black. Um, so I think these, I don't know, just a cheerful, cheerful piece. Like I said, the agave, it's a beautiful color, but I don't feel like you could use it on everything. So I just put two coats on that, and I dried them. And now I've decided to paint the edges of all of the animals black. Um, I painted the back side of the cutting board and then the there's kind of like a little uh, beveled edge all the way around the cutting board. So I kind of uh, outlined it there. It's not, I didn't do it perfectly straight. And now I am just putting a soft edge of a little bit of paint all the way around the front of the animals. There the cow I did. It's very subtle, but I feel like it just warms it up. And the pig I did not do, so there you can see the difference. And this board was just way too perfect and whatnot. So I did a very, very, very dry brush of some black just here and there. Just try to scuff it up a little bit. Like I said, it, it was just too perfect. And I wasn't quite sure how else to really uh, scuff this up without... I, I feel like the, the, the decoupage paper is busy enough. Um... So I didn't want to make it, I just wanted something subtle. So that's what I did. So I just have some, uh, I have no idea where I got that ribbon. I have a big roll of it. It's like bouncy, like boingy. <laughs> I got it for uh, my scrappy bows. And um, I just tie that in just a regular shoelace bow. And we are going to use the Heavy Body Gel by Pentart to uh, put these guys down. I do not like using a hot tool gun or hot tool apparatus. Um, so heavy body gel is takes a little while to set up, um, but it's definitely a great uh, glue to use. It has a lot of uses, but it's definitely good for heavy objects um, and holding them down. So I like to use that. So I'm just placing them, the cow down first, because if he's crooked, then the rest of the stack will be crooked. So I just... Um, put him down patiently and I don't put a lot on the back of the heavy body gel so it, you know just enough to butter it but not enough where it squirts out and like I said it does take a little time to set up so we're just using black jute as the hanger and trimming that up nothing fancy there our little bow and I did that little piece for the middle of the bow is just a piece of from a thing of jewelry that I broke off it has a little turquoise in the middle 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more, you can follow me on Facebook, YouTube, subscribe, follow, turn on the notifications so you'll know when I upload um, new videos or you can catch me live. Um, it's Scrappy's Rustics on all the platforms. And if you like some of these products, you can visit my website at scrappiesrustics.com. Look how cute that came out. I really love it. It's very simple, but it's really cute. I would give this as a gift, no doubt. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.